Um, Orla, the Taoiseach began both of his replies to Deputy Bruton with the words, I don't accept. Now, he didn't accept it last week either, when the IMF told us that uh, the bank bailout in this country was going to be more expensive for Irish taxpayers than, it, than bank bailouts were going to be anywhere else, and told us in as many words that the IMF had got their figures wrong. Of course, the IMF afterwards uh, clarified the position and said that they stood over their figures. Today, we have the ESRI report, which tells us, in their words, that this is the worst economic recession in Ireland for any developed country since the Great Depression of the 1930s. They tell us that by the end of next year, almost one out of every five people uh, in our workforce are going to be out of work. The Taoiseach tells us this morning that there's 384,000 now on the live register. How many will be on the live register, Taoiseach, by the end of next year, according to these uh, ESRI figures? And how many more people are going to have to lose their jobs in our economy before you lose yours? Do you not think that what is happening to our economy has anything to do with the way in which Fianna Fáil has mismanaged the economy over the past number of years? Do you still hold to that view? Do you still think it has nothing to do with you? Do you still think it is something that has appeared like the Mexican swine flu that was out of the blue and uh, has nothing to do with the way in which government uh, puffed the uh, property bubble, uh, didn't face up to the problems? You say you don't accept. You wouldn't accept it at this time last year when we were telling you that there was an economic problem coming. You wouldn't accept it before last summer when we were telling you there was a problem in, in the banks. And it took a long time for the penny to drop with you that people were losing their jobs and that businesses uh, were going to the wall. And even as recently as last month, you wouldn't accept here in the House a Labour Party set of proposals to find work, to find meaningful activity, education and training, a range of measures that we put forward uh, to deal now with the immediate problems that people have uh, who, are losing, who are losing their jobs. You just don't accept it. You seem to be in absolute denial that out there, outside the walls and the gates uh, of this parliamentary uh, area, that people are losing their jobs, that businesses are going to the wall, that people who are self-employed or were, were self-employed are telling us repeatedly that when they turn around, there is no help available to them, they can't turn to anybody in a state agency, they can't get credit from banks to, uh, to keep going or to keep on the uh, employees uh, that, they, that they have. And we are now facing into a situation, a prospect, according to your own admission, of a half a million people who will be out of work, half a million people idle uh, in this country who won't have uh, work to go to uh, in the morning or, or won't have, have something, uh, something to do. You keep looking across the chamber at the opposition parties and saying, you know, what do we say? We have repeatedly put forward proposals to you. You've paid lip service to some of them. So certainly some of the Labour Party proposals you paid lip service to uh, in your own, in your own or their speech. But we're not seeing it. It's not happening. And I think you've got to get it into your head, Taoiseach, that the key to solving our economic difficulties is protecting jobs and getting people back to work. You're not going to solve the problems in the public finances or the problems in the banks or the problems in the general economy without people going back to work. And what's happening every day, week by week, month by month, and the ESRI report today is, is confirmation of it, and the live register figures that you have just given us is further confirmation of it is more and more people are losing their jobs and more and more businesses are going to the wall while you and your government are just stuck like the classic rabbit in the, in the headlights of the lamp, absolutely frozen and unable to act. A fine bit of theory, I can call it. And, it, and it's, you know, yes, of course, of, of course getting people back to work uh, depends on, on economic growth. But your strategy is not designed to grow the economy. Your strategy 
will shrink the economy. Your, your strategy will take more money out of the economy and the dithering approach of your government, the approach of one policy this week, another policy in, in two weeks' time, is what is adding to the decline in confidence, both domestically and internationally, uh, in, the, uh, in the Irish e e economy. Uh, we, have, we have people who are losing their jobs, we have businesses that are uh, declining, and we have a huge drop uh, in consumer activity, a lot of which is due directly to the, to the, the lack of confidence uh, in, in our economy. What people in this country need at the moment, Taoiseach, is some hope that there's a way through the economic recession and that we're going to, to get out of it. Unfortunately, it is very difficult for people to get that kind of hope in circumstances where there is a government that doesn't appear to know what it is doing and all of the signals that you are sending out uh, are uh, affecting uh, the confidence of people both in terms of spending and indeed their hopes in terms uh, of, uh, of employment. The reality is, is that your government does not have a pro-employment strategy. There was little or nothing in your budget to uh, generate uh, employment or to support employment activity or to encourage employment employers to take on new employees. There are no measures in place. Uh, your state agencies have not been re-geared to deal with the immediate problems that are facing people who are losing employment, people who are self-employed and who can't get assistance, in some cases can't get even assistance in terms of income continuance because they weren't in the, uh, in the, in the social insured uh, system. They're not getting help from, from, from your government. You don't have a jobs-centred strategy. You can talk all you like about it, you can talk as loudly as you li li like about it, but that's the reality. And the reality is, the proof of the reality is the declining unemployment figures that we're getting here month by month. 380,000, bordering now on 400,000, and the ESRI report saying it's going to be as high as 17 per cent, almost one in five people in the country out of work by the end of next year. That's a disgraceful record, Taoiseach, a disgraceful record, and it is not good enough, and it is no longer acceptable that your government simply washes your hands of it, pretends it has, pretends it has nothing to, to do with you. Every report, our own ESRI, the IMF, international commentary, they are all now saying the same thing. The worst performing economy in the developed world in terms of employment, in terms of the banks, is the Irish economy. You and your government are responsible for it. You have dug a big hole for the Irish people by the way you mismanage the economy over the past number of years. And Irish working people are paying for that by losing their jobs, their businesses going to the wall, their pay packets being plundered this month in order to bail out uh, banks and developers and other people who, 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 are, who, are, who, who, are, who are your real cause celeb on that side, on that side of the house.